subscribe, leave me a like and follow me on my journey living outside the box. What is up guys? Uh, I'm laying here in a hospital in Thailand. If you're wondering how I ended up here, then you should watch this episode. This is not your typical holiday video. Here I am. I thought I got bitten by a mosquito. But three days after the apparent bite, I couldn't walk proper. So I decided to go to a professional doctor on Kopangat. They opened and cleaned the wound, gave me antibiotics and tetanus and said I'm good to go. Perfect, because I booked already the next accommodation in my next destination. They advised me to clean the wound and change the bandage daily, no problem. So I am on the way to the jungle. Welcome to Khao Sok National Park. What a service! Check out our room. Dogs, cats, horses. We are really in nature now. How is your feet? After sitting on the ferry and in the bus for all in all seven hours. It's uh, much more swollen and hurts. As you might see, I cannot walk proper. But I hope in the next two days I'm healed and I can discover the jungle. Unfortunately, I got an infection from an insect bite which I was not treating. And yeah, the third day, I could not walk proper anymore, like you see now. And yeah, the emergency, emergency in uh, Kupangan had to cut it open and press drain the, the infection out of it and yeah. here I am with antibiotics and anti-inflammation um, pills uh, yeah, yesterday I had the mini surgery <laughs> and now I'm in Khao Sok in, in the national park so, yeah, it's freaking beautiful over here In theory, I have to change the bandage every day and clean it. Well, not just in theory, I have to. Uh, yeah. Let's see how we're gonna do that. Thank you, Kopenkart. No, yeah. not bad, eh? I don't know even if we were booking with Climber or not, but seems like we didn't. The bathroom it's okay yeah, here we are fan we have no fridge unfortunately oh, what do I see here oh, okay no fridge no aircon but in the middle of nature That looks like an elephant foot. But yeah, the doctors, I guess, did pretty good work in Kopangan. Uh, yeah, cost me tetanus, I also got. And yeah, the draining and the cleaning and the antibiotics and the anti inflammatory was all in all around 200 euros. Yeah, and today I think we should check out the doctor. So, the mission for today. Finding a doctor in the forest. How are you? Slightly fever, I think. A bit pukey. Uh, now my feet looks not too good, very swollen. So uh, I'm trying to get in touch with my insurance or uh, try to find a hospital here in Khao Sok in the jungle, but not the easiest, seems like. One emergency house is already closed and the other one is one and a half hour far away so uh, I have to check out now what I'm gonna do and uh, how I'm gonna do it. Thank you. 
All right. On the way, or in the pharmacy, I was discussing with them uh, what they think if I should go to the hospital, which is one and a half hours from our hotel away, or yeah, if I'm if I'm good if I ch just chill and relax, uh, because I was not feeling very well. Uh, yeah, then suddenly I saw black in front of my eyes and was shaking a lot, and here I am in a Thai hospital. One and a half hours from our accommodation. I know they are, they are opening my wound. Oh, oh, it's not not too nice. So watch your way if you don't want to see it. It's infected my lymph nodes over here. Uh, big ass swollen uh, yeah, my feet is also swollen like I showed you before uh, I have headache nausea and I've been pretty weak I don't know what now they're gonna tell me uh, I have to add that the husband of the pharmacy lady was bringing me with this car uh, I have to pay for this but still he's the translator and uh, he was instantly getting his car and uh, bringing me over here to the hospital. Very helpful people over here. Alright, waiting since one hour now here in the hospital. They took blood and they're gonna analyze it, my infection of it. And yeah, it's a uh, not cool atmosphere here. I don't <laughs> feel so well over here, but I get treated pretty good, I think. Uh, I keep you updated. Alright, um, yeah, I feel better now. I'm in the car home to our accommodation in the jungle. They recommended me to stay there uh, overnight and they wanted to give me some injections every few hours, uh, antibiotica. But yeah, I didn't like the hospital much, uh, I must say. It yeah, didn't. This, yeah. I didn't felt safe in this uh, hospital so much. I'm thankful that they helped me and uh, at the end they were taking blood to check my, my infection levels. And they were cleaning my wound and giving me a new um, bandage and I paid now 2300 baht which is about, let me lie, 62 euro, not too bad for uh, yeah, all in all it took now about 4 hours or something I don't know why it took so long at the end but yeah, they tried really to let me stay there overnight I don't know if they were really so concerned or if they uh, saw an opportunity to, to make money, I don't know but uh, that was at the end anyway not so expensive. I'm happy that yeah, I feel better that everything went well and now we are at 7-Eleven. I'm gonna get some <laughs> I'm gonna get some dinner because yeah I was not eating half of the day obviously and uh, my girlfriend also not and the taxi driver had no dinner because yeah, he's since five o'clock or something with us. Uh, yeah so dinner now uh, yeah, the next day is, uh, I'm gonna see how I feel and how it will end up and then I will decide if I go in the next bigger city where more tourism is going on because yeah, it will be much safer to be in a touristy area than somewhere in the mountains in the, in the jungle until then uh, paracetamol and anti-inflammation uh, pills will hold me hopefully above the water stay tuned we are back in our hut now. Um, I want to say again, it's crazy how, how nice the people here and how, how helpful they are. And uh, in the hospital, they treated me pretty well, I would say, but uh, it was a bit scary. They were people were getting operated next to me. There was an open door and. A lot of insects inside 
inside of the inside of the room where I was with like five or six other people who were get treated at this point. People with open with an open knee or an open arm, they get stitches and stuff. Kids were screaming. It was freaking stressful. Uh, after I decided to not stay in the hospital uh, and not to take the recommended treatment of them, and now we are back home. Uh, yeah, even the hostel owner was waiting for me and he was worrying for me. He didn't even know me yet because we arrived just one hour before the incident happened. He was very caring and uh, tried to take care of us. And he took the number of the hospital and he said, if I have any problem, I should go there, knock his door, wake him up and he will call the hospital and ask what to do or he will bring us to the hospital again. And yeah, now I feel very tired and a bit weak still, obviously. I was taking my antibioticum, which I was getting yesterday in Kobangan, and anti-inflammatory, and uh, I think I'm gonna relax a bit and try to sleep. I am gonna keep you updated. This gibbon sounds are crazy. It's 7.30 in the morning, I'm chilling here. Because I have to take my pill soon and have breakfast. And there's freaking gibbons are shouting there in the mountains. How magical is this? You gotta come to Kausok National Park if you're in Thailand. It's crazy. <laughs> I wish I could film there, but unfortunately I cannot walk there. Good morning, so... 9.30 now, I had already breakfast and took the next antibiotics. Uh, I don't feel uh, so weak like yesterday, I feel okay. So I just wanted to showcase you that not everything is sunshine and rainbows <laughs> and sometimes shit happens. And yeah, I try to document a bit how it works out over here if you have problems like this. Uh, you should not be afraid if you are doing this kind of travels. There's always someone who, who will help you, who is able to help you. A few moments later. Oops. All right, public bus station. Kausok. Uh, we, we decided to go to Phuket still because my feet is not getting much better. And yeah, we would have two days more here, but yeah, I don't want to risk it. We're going with a public bus, which cost us 10 euro, I believe, and yeah, I mean, I sat now two minutes in the bus, but seems pretty comfortable, it takes us four hours, and it's one hour earlier than it should depart, but yeah, uh, now I know why my hostel, why the hostel owner told us to be here one hour earlier, I was wondering, let's see how it turns out, I'm gonna see you latest in Phuket. After four hours bus ride, which was pretty comfortable, um, I ended up in Bangkok Hospital. When they checked my wounds, they said it doesn't look pretty well. And they were cleaning it. It was fucked up. Yeah, I have a hole in my in my leg down there. And I should come every day to clean it and they give me intravenous uh, antibiotica. Yeah, that's where we are right now. Let's see how this ends, but uh, I feel in pretty good hands. Here it's very clean, looks like a high standard. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, this is how I ended up. Not so fun anymore.
uh, but yeah, nice to see. It's a much better setting than before, than, than two days before, and yeah, I feel in good hands. We're gonna put no antibioticum through this little thing here. I have to come here a few days in a row, and they will do always the same procedure like now. And yeah, but in the night I can go home to our hotel and come back here at daytime to get liquid antibiotics. Yeah, I gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pay it out of my pocket. Seems like, I hope. Yeah, I should have enough money for this. Uh, yeah, then I can claim it for my insurance at some point when I'm back home. Yeah, two weeks left in Thailand. Let's see how much I can enjoy of this. But yeah, health comes first, I would say, guys. Um, I keep you updated. I just called our grab so that we can go to our hotel. I'm happy now to go to the hotel, eat something proper, have a nice bed and yeah, be in the cozy bed. <laughs> Tomorrow I have to come again, same procedure, cleaning the wound, putting antibiotics through my veins. Yeah, so guys, if you have an infection, infected wound or insect bite, take it serious, don't be stupid. For sure not if you are in a country like like this. Uh, what did I pay now? I paid now cleaning the wound, seeing a doctor, putting intravenous antibiotica. 290 euro. All right, I'm back from the hospital. I'm going to sit down, I guess. And this is the hotel room we got now. Oh fuck, yeah, the bed seems not the most comfortable. We pay now. How much do we pay? Um, 18 euro per night, so 9 euro per person per night. And there we got a travel room with a balcony and the fridge, free water, air conditioning, uh, stable Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna try to show you around a bit. And yeah, let's see what we got over here. We got the TV. We have a fridge, a mirror, a mini couch, some cool decoration, British clock tower, yeah, not bad. Routine, I cannot walk proper, but yeah, my camera woman is gonna show you around. Over here we got the bathroom. Very spacious, I would say, but yeah, not the best one, but it's in the middle of the old town of Phuket. Uh, yeah, just a euro per person, so a balcony even. Exactly in the middle of the old town. Old town is like 200 meter, and we're in the heart of it. Not even, I think. And the hospital is also just three kilometers from here, so it's easy peasy to catch a grab and drive there for three euro or something. So I guess we did everything right, and yeah. Day number two. So uh, the dog checked the wound and it looks not so good. I will show you, so if you don't want to see it, then close your eyes and three, two, one. It's crazy how it started with the mosquito bite. Or oh, looked like a mosquito bite and now it looks like this. But yeah, seems like it's much better than yesterday, uh, the dog said. And yeah, this process I have to do now three to five days. So this is day number two. And yeah, three or five days more. Every day I have to come here. Vitamins. And yeah, that's called a grab because as you might have seen I cannot walk proper. For sure not after they 
pulled inside my wound again. Hurts a bit. Yeah, 123. Which is 3 euro for 3.5 kilometers. I would say let's book it. Day number four of my intravenous antibiotic. I feel much better. Uh, the doctor was checking today. Yesterday he was not checking. Yesterday it was just the cleaning and putting this injection. And uh, today the doctor was checking. And uh, it's like I feel I can walk uh, and yeah, I feel much less pain. It uh, seems like it works, the therapy. Hopefully. Tomorrow is the last day of the therapy. Uh, I'm very grateful that, that I got this good medicine over here. Don't take things for granted. <laughs> I appreciate things for sure uh, uh, much more now. And uh, I'm happy. Cha ching. All right. I had the last checkup with my doctor and the last intravenous uh, antibiotic. So yeah, the doctor said everything is so far so good. I don't need any more uh, the intravenous antibiotic. And yeah, I, I paid the last big bill. And yeah, also some pills, antibiotic pills came with it. Um, yeah, all in all, I guess for the treatment now, which was around four days in this hospital and previous day one day hospital one day emergency i paid all in all around 2000 euro i must say but yeah it's about health and health is important so i'm okay with this i'm gonna claim this for my insurance let's see how this goes but yeah uh, i have to go still to the cleaning every second day he says uh, and yeah then i'm gonna be over the hill it's gonna be finished then hopefully so I'm gonna call this this video to an end. I hope it was informative for you guys. I hope you enjoyed to have a view inside the uh, health treatments in Thailand. I didn't enjoy it that much, but I'm happy that I'm healed. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Thank you, Bangkok Hospital. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and I'm gonna see you in the next one.